The families of 36 people who died in a New Year's Eve stampede in Shanghai will receive 800,000 yuan, $129,000, £85,000, each in compensation, local authorities say. The deadly crush took place at the historic riverfront walk, the Bund, where huge crowds had gathered. The announcement came on the same day investigators released a report into the incident. Four district officials were fired for failing to prevent public risk. Authorities said the 49 people injured in the crush would also be given payouts depending on their injuries, according to a statement on the Huangpu District Authority's official microblog. Families of the relatives have previously complained about being kept away from the media and from each other. Surging Wave The four officials who lost their jobs were Zhou Wei, the Communist Party chief in Huangpu District, his deputy Peng Song, the district's public security chief and the deputy police chief. Several other district officials were disciplined but no city-level officials have yet to face any disciplinary action. The report released after the investigation described a series of events in which district police and officials were aware of growing crowds but failed to act or communicate the risk to higher authorities. The constant flow of people up and down the stairs caused a deadlock, then a surging wave, the report said, in reference to a stairway that connects an elevated promenade along the Bund. Pressure from the crowd going down increased, causing some at the bottom of the stairs to lose their balance and fall leading to many people falling, overlapping, which caused the stampede, the report said. U.S. President Barack Obama will join PM Narendra Modi in his monthly radio address to reach out to millions of Indians with no access to television. The address, Man Ki Bait, From the Heart, is broadcast on state-run All India Radio, AIR, as well as all FM channels and community radio stations. Mr. Modi tweeted on Thursday that the address would run on Tuesday, a day after India celebrates Republic Day. Mr. Obama arrives in the Indian capital on Sunday for a three-day visit. He will be the guest of honor at the military parade on Monday, where he will take the salute from Indian soldiers. He will also hold bilateral talks with PM Modi, meet business leaders and visit the Taj Mahal in the northern town of Agra. In a series of tweets on Tuesday, Mr. Modi said he was eagerly looking forward to the radio address and invited people to send in their questions. Mr. Modi, who led his Bharatiya Janata Party to a spectacular win in last summer's general election, began his monthly address in October in an attempt to connect with India's public. The speeches generally was broadcast on Sundays from 11 o'clock India time 5.30 GMT, but the joint broadcast with Mr. Obama is scheduled for Tuesday morning. The All India Radio website says it runs 413 stations in India and reaches nearly 99.19% of the country's 1.2 billion population.